Welcome to this uh, third Clarin Cafe of 2021. We are expecting quite a crowd today. And uh, some of you may not be uh, familiar with the concept of Clarin Cafe, which is uh, basically an informal space of this virtual space of, of discussion where uh, uh, researchers, lecturers, uh, students, experts can meet together to discuss topics that are relevant for the Clarin infrastructure. This cafe is dedicated to the topic that you see here in the title, uh, the data uh, rights of data subjects in language resources and is organized by the Clarin Legal and Ethical Issues Committee. And it is also part, uh, and the first installment actually, of uh, uh, the uh, training events of the Triple Project. And we welcome all the Triple uh, Project participants here. I will say a few words about uh, Triple uh, in, um, in a few minutes. Uh, so the organizers of this cafe are Pavel Kamotsky, the chair of the uh, Clarin Legal and Ethical Issues Committee, and uh, Vanessa Hannes Schelega, mm, the vice chair. Uh, this cafe should have been presented by Maria Skevich from the Clarin office, who also works on the Triple Project, but uh, there was an, she had an impediment, so I'm replacing her. I'm Francesca Frontini, a uh, member of the board of directors of Clarin Eric. Um, so just uh, um, this is a plan for the day. I will just uh, take a, a few minutes uh, to say a few introductory words on Clarin and the Triple Project. Then I will hand over to the organizers for the cafe with a series of presentations by Pavel, Alexei, uh, Pavel again and Esther, and then the discussion moderated by Vanessa. And then I will take uh, uh, the microphone again at the very end to, say, to tell you a little bit um, some useful, useful information and closing remarks. I remind you that uh, this uh, event is recorded for, for dissemination purposes. Um, if you have questions and comments, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, or if you want, you can also then open the mic and uh, ask your question directly. Those of you who have specified that they would rather not be recorded, of course, should keep their camera off and use the chat to ask questions. So uh, just a few introductory words about Clarin Eric. Um, so Clarin Eric is the common language resources and technology infrastructure. It is uh, an Eric, an European Resource Infrastructure Consortium since 2012. And uh, it, has the, uh, it is created, was created to provide easy and sustainable access for scholars in the humanities and social sciences and beyond to digital language data in written, spoken, video, or multimodal form, and advanced tools to discover, exploit, explore, annotate, analyze, or combine them wherever they are located through a single sign-on environment that serves as an ecosystem for knowledge sharing. And it is also ready for EOSC integration, integration in the European Open Science Cloud. Clarin today is a federation of, of over 50 centers located in various European countries and also beyond. Uh, most of the large majority of the centers are located in member states, so states that uh, support the Clarin Eric uh, also uh, with their uh, membership fees. And uh, that uh, there are 21, the names you can see here, and we have also three observers today. Uh, Clarin is first and foremost a technical infrastructure that helps making resources, namely corpora, lexicons, NLP tools and services from the various centers, Clarin centers available from a single access point, which is namely the Clarin uh, portal. And what happens, metadata from the various centers are harvested so that they become visible from and searchable from the Virtual Language Observatory, our meta catalog, and they can also uh, activate a series of services for processing the language, uh, lingu linguistic data uh, from the language resources switchboard. All this builds an ecosystem of fair uh, language data. But Clarin is also uh, an infrastructure for sharing knowledge and uh, with a series of uh, knowledge centers and competence centers, video lectures, uh, user involvement events and workshops, mobility grants and other uh, funding, uh, um, funding opportunities. 
and I will come to back to this in the closing session to tell you about uh, open calls that might be of interest uh, to you. The uh, CLIC committee, the Legal and Ethical Issues Committee, is of course a pillar of the, uh, of the clarinetic infrastructure and of the knowledge infrastructure, providing information to uh, the various uh, uh, centers and members, member countries uh, concerning le legal and ethical uh, issues uh, for language resources. I'm sure Pavel will say more about it, uh, so I will not go into the details, but uh, here are some references. By the way, the slides uh, for this event will become available on the same page that uh, you registered from uh, of the Clarion Cafe. So you will have all the links. And among these links, you will find uh, the legal information platform and the, the, the link to the bibliography uh, where you find, among other things, the white papers that the CLIC committee has produced over the years. The last one, it's on GDPR, was published in 2018, but uh, there will be an update uh, soon and Pavel will tell you about it probably. So now we come to the triple project. Um, so the, the triple project was launched uh, uh, on, uh, in 2019 and uh, is a funded project uh, uh, under the Horizon 2020 framework. Uh, it is a consortium of 19 partners from various European countries coordinated by Humanum, the French National Infrastructure for uh, the Humanities in, in France, uh, from, by, from, uh, funded by CNRS. It has the objective of building an innovative multilingual and multicultural discovery solution for social sciences and humanities, and to provide a single access point that allows you to explore, find, access, reuse materials, such as literature, data, projects, researchers profile at a European scale. So this is um, a schema of the uh, triple, uh, triple project, which uh, uh, you can uh, find more about in uh, on the Go Triple uh, portal. Um, the um, I'm sorry. Uh, the the triple project has the uh, objective of creating basically a search, uh, um, an, an exploration platform, so a search uh, engine, so to say, where you can find information about uh, existing uh, projects, researchers active on these projects, publication relating to the projects, for instance, uh, data uh, relating to publication, etc. But it has also the objective to become some uh, a sort of social network, uh, which uh, will offer recommendation, try to connect researchers uh, uh, with each other. So you see now the link to uh, the topic of this cafe, because there is a strong focus on handling also uh, individual uh, data. Uh, Clarin and other um, uh, Erics uh, from uh, the humanities are members of the Triple Project. Uh, which in turn is uh, strongly connected uh, to uh, the constitution creation of the EOSC, the European Open Science Cloud. And in fact, the GoTriple platform will become an EOSC service. And now uh, I can hand over the microphone to the organizers and I uh, thank you for being here and I wish you a very nice cafe. <music> Thank you.